I cried twice today. The first time was because we had a speaker come to do an assembly at our school and he shared about a lot of hurt and um, pain in his life and how he made it through with the help of others and um, he talked about letting others love us and us loving others and just the love of other people pouring into our lives to help get us through not giving up and so that left me encouraged and motivated to go through the day because I know a lot of students are going through such hard times and I even have friends who are still going through those same things um, at our age and I want to be there for my kids at school and be there for people. So then, you know, of course I cried hearing his story and then later in the day I was in class and it was just really frustrating because there was some students not being kind to each other and um, students having some negative attitudes or not listening and it was super frustrating and um, what was even more sad is students that I feel sometimes like I was building relationships with it feels like um, one step forward three steps three steps back um, just feels like you know I I thought I was getting somewhere I thought we were we were good and you know I was um, being there for them to open up and the next thing um, they look really upset or they don't want to talk or it feels like um, I'm their enemy and I you know I feel at a loss sometimes because I know I'm not perfect but it makes me sad and I feel like I maybe care a lot about them and uh, maybe they don't really care that much or I sometimes feel like what I do doesn't make a difference or they don't really care um, about me so of course that makes me sad um, most of all I want to uh, love on my students and love the people in my life that God's given me and I know I'm not perfect at it so I want to always do my best and I want to make a difference and I want to be there for them so it was interesting because before I had started feeling frustrated in class and before I actually cried a little bit um, my students had asked me because I do acting um, on the side a lot and they said if you had a job if you had an opportunity to act full-time be really famous in all the movie theaters and stuff and stop teaching would you right now and I told them that it would definitely have to be um, probably a very meaningful um, film that I felt like was going to make a really big difference because I currently teach full-time and I love teaching and I love being there with my students and I really want to let them know they're loved and pour into their lives and um, I enjoy it and I care about people a lot and um, so that was interesting because um, you know I had been thinking about that lately and feeling discouraged at times and knowing that sometimes it feels like what I do doesn't matter and doesn't make a difference and so I'm like is it even worth it and it always comes back to yes because especially as a Christian I know that God's given me a passion for people and that's where he's placed me right now in my life and I wouldn't be um, doing what I can to share the gospel with them through my actions and my life and hopefully through relationships built with them if I don't give everything I have even if that means that I will be sad sometimes and cry sometimes and feel like I'm not good enough sometimes or feel like it doesn't make a difference. I know that I definitely don't deserve the love that God's given me and I don't deserve the salvation that he's offered through Jesus Christ or the grace that he shows daily in my life. I don't deserve any of it so I can imagine how God feels when we don't appreciate him and when we um, just do wrong over and over or um, we don't live fully um, to, 
glorify him. And if I don't really give everything that I can to these kids, then um, that's also not appreciating God and what he's done. And I want to make a difference. And I want people to know the love of God. And I want um, them to love themselves and um, to make the most of their lives. And so even if it's going to cost me tears or sadness or frustration, um, it is worth it. Teaching's worth it because the kids are worth it. People are worth it. And I love people. God's given me a passion for people. And so as long as he has me there with those kids, I hope to continue to build relationships and teach them the skills that I'm supposed to be teaching them in class and um, encourage them and love on them and I hope and pray that I can be a light in their lives and if any of those students are going through things especially um, like our speaker was today that they can know I'm there for them and um, I have to continue to remember to be gospel focused and not just feel like it has to be my way. It has to uh, run smoothly every class or um, people have to even like me. I just need to love them and um, apologize when I do wrong and um, be patient and support them and everything. So. Is it worth it being a teacher? Yes, it's definitely worth it because they're worth it. And um, pray for me because I know there's a lot of hurt out there and I want to be a light. I want to um, show them as much love as I can. And sometimes it hurts and sometimes it's hard, but um, they're worth it. <laughs>